everybody. Hi everyone. Welcome to Twin Set and Pearls Knitting Podcast, episode 45. Wow. Now, we it's only a week yep. since we last podcast, but it's going to be a little while um, and we may not get to podcast the next time we get together, although we're going to try our hardest. We, may anyway, not, we won't have all our, our whips with us. No. For sure. Anyway, <laughs> before we get into all of that, uh, my name's Jo. I'm Rachel. And we are Twin Set and Pearl. Um, we're twins. We're twins. <laughs> we knit all the time, we chat all the time to each other, and we design as Twin Set and, as twin set and Pill. So we've got a few things to show you today. We The reason we've jumped on is Rachel's coming, come to my house for lunch. Yeah, so you can see that we're at Joe's house. And we almost wish that there was smell vision because mm -hmm. the roast dinner that's cooking in the oven <laughs> smells amazing. Um, we have some FOs and some whips and things to share. We can and some acquisitions, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna, gonna, thought we'd... Uh, but we've only got an hour, so we're going to go... Yeah. We're going to mosey on through. We so, haven't got any admin, no, apart everyone, from the cow. That's everyone, has been, everyone who won a prize up until last episode has got in touch with me, so that's all sorted out, thank goodness. And um, I'm trying to remember what overactive that, badger... That was... <laughs> That was really Occupied funny. Bear was not <laughs> offended by being called overactive badger. Um, <laughs> in fact, it made her laugh, so that was fine. And yeah, all prizes are organised. Did she reply? She replied to you, didn't she? And said, yeah. it's, over, it's Occupied Bear, <laughs> aka overactive <laughs> badger. <laughs> so I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hmm. So, yeah, so we're going to talk about, briefly talk about the cow. It's going really well, I think. We need to make a p grid post yes. about it. And okay. we also need to start posting more on our grid. Because um, we noticed that between a podcast episode, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to... I posted a couple of times. You have week. posted it. Did you do it to Trinset and Pearl, though? Yes. All right. I don't think you did. I've, maybe not this week, last week. I have done some to Trinset But we're going to... I'm going to start posting my progress on whatever I'm, whatever family member I'm knitting on yeah. I'm going to start posting on there as well as in, my, in our stories yeah I've been doing stories Good. so yeah so that's going on and that's going to go on going on going on until September but if you're new to this episode um, if you look back at the previous episode um, and the one for that we talk about it in more detail yeah and on in our Ravelry group there's a thread on Joe has not added the new things. Oh, sorry, forgot to do that. So she's got to add Disco Bunny and the socks. But we have decided that um, you need to knit two pairs of socks, really, to be added to an entry. Although I think sometimes socks yeah, is no, as much as bigger deal as... It's not, let's not worry. Bigger deal as, for some people... I mean, it's it such a long time that you could probably knit every shawl, every pair of socks, yeah. and whatever. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, the other thing to say is that the booth test knit is underway, and going really well, oh, so that will be. Are you alright? Well, I think I'm sucked up, but I'm alright. You are a bit hooked up. Um, the Ruth test is going well, isn't it? It's been a week. Yeah, we've I haven't no, actually started yet. Only one minor issue with yeah. the pattern that I'd put the chart in front of the key. <laughs> but apart from that, yeah. So I'm starting. I'm not. Oh, I know I'm, page not I'm not going to show my yarn. I put added page numbers at the next. I'll be knitting <laughs> it when we when we yeah. the next podcast. So, but there's some beautiful colours. Joe, uh, maybe next podcast I'll ask them if it's okay to share the pictures yeah. of their progress, and you can see some of the colour combos yeah, that people have. Um, so Joe's wearing my yarn for me, which I picked up today. So I will be starting tomorrow or tonight because you've finished. That, that oh segue yes. into what I'm wearing, my finished object. Mm -hmm. Is my Simon, and in all his glory, he is the most. Mm. I think one of the most gorgeous things. It looks it looks like you could bought it in the yeah. shop, doesn't it? And there's going to be much wearing of much wear. So I may have to take him off because I'm a bit hot. Mm. <laughs> but I um I love it. Yeah, the weather's reasonably nice in the UK yeah. at the minute, or the bit and of the UK. And the I'm other thing that I'm wearing. Um, I'm going to talk about later on because we're having a new little segment called Crochet Corner. I've decided. Um, well, I anyway, so, yeah, so I fully boots. So I started Simon on the 1st of March and finished him this week, 
which is not bad considering I knitted a lot of the things in between. Mm -hmm. And it's six pairs of socks in March. So this is Drops Kids Silk Mohair in North, North sea. sea and Drops Flora in Sand. And it's four balls of mohair and two, ball, two balls of flora. So it's about a £30, £25 short. Mm. So it is good. And the colourways they've got are amazing. So I actually bought um, some Drops Kid Silk in, in Oslo, and, but with um, Sanders Garn, Sunday. the four pliers, Sunday. Sunday. And so I might have to cast that one on soon. <laughs> I love this so much. What colours were it's those? It's a dark, it's like a grey fawn, dark the Sunday, mm. and then a beige kid silk. Mm. So I think it's really nice. But I have got my lavender and caramel one to do as well. Mm. The choices, the choices. <laughs> so yeah, so this is Simon, and we love him. And Joe also is wearing an FA. Yes. So this is, I had to cast it on, haven't I? Yeah, you've done the ribbing. I've done the ribbing. So I basically I knit a top a bottom bottom up drop shoulder without any sleeves, just for this tiny bit of cuff. And I had one ball of Noro You showed the yarn. I did, yeah. I can't remember what the yarn was called. Is it glue in Kuroko? Not the colour. The other one with it. But no, it's upstairs. No. Um anyway. Um it's their double knitting. Um, it's 200 grams, so 300, 300 600 meters, mm -hmm. um, and I had some left over because so because I yeah because I was going bottom up, it's very difficult mm -hmm. to use all the yarn. Yeah. So for the next ball, the lavender ball, I'm going to start. I'm going to knit a sleeveless love note, I think, uh, or a ranunculus. It's love note, love note, love note, and go top down. Mm -hmm. So, um, because this is, I would say, it could have done with being just a little bit You're going to stand up or not? But I do like it with this top, and I think I'd wear it with a dress, yeah, over for a holiday. dress for holidays and things. So, I'm, oh, I'm wearing it, I can't see in Rachel's screen protector thing. Oh, um, that's fine. I'm wearing it over a linen, sleeveless linen shirt. Um, I don't think that looks, yeah. looks all right. It, it does cover, down, it covers the bust. comes down below the boobs. Um, it's nine inches, under ten inches. I block it to ten inches underarm. And you used, you copied my yes. sock idea, didn't you? Yeah, with the rib. It was not twisted rib. No. It's um, textured. Text just, just rib. Yeah. And then I just knit um, 13 you rows. You can't see how beautiful the yarn is, but the colours. 13 rows and then two rows, of, three rows of rib. Yeah. Yeah, it is three rows. Yeah, it? and it's got these most beautiful blues, yeah. purples, and oranges, and obviously the cream. The cream's a cotton, isn't it? That's my favourite. Yeah, that so it's just absolutely red. Um, yeah, and then I just did. Um, so I, on the bottom, I'd done twelve rows of rib, and I did six. Six for the neck. Six for the neck. Oh no! Did I do sixteen for the? Possibly. No, I did the same. Sit 12 on the cuffs and I'd have brought some left over. So what I think I'm going to do with the leftovers is I've got some um, linen coloured bamboo cotton double knit from King Cole and I'm going to knit a tolster and I'm going to put a stripe of, of, the, of the orange and a stripe mm -hmm. of the lavender if I've got any left. Mm -hmm. And it might just, may just be one row of the lavender yeah, and nice. then two or three rows of the just as a a deet a deet yeah. on that um yeah so cool. i'm not starting the next thing until i come back from my trip yeah but yeah very quick I, it was a week i cast it on mm. thursday cast off on wednesday and that they've got like a li liney mm. it's really lovely the yeah. colors how many colors were there available on the i think there's definitely like 10 right there's a really nice grey with like all the colours in yeah. it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It is expensive. Much. Yes, it's thirty three pounds a ball, I think. Yeah. But so that would make you a 
but for a sweater, you probably need two two for it with long sleeves. Yeah, definitely. but for even like a summer top, it's not it's not too it's bad. bad. It's yeah. silk and cotton and viscose though, yeah. so um, yeah, so it's yeah, it's a nice. Yeah. It's really nice fabric. Mm -hmm. Again, you Ooh. would definitely wear it without anything. If you were going to miss it long, obviously, or you could wear crops without, you know, having to have your middle covered. Yeah. Um, we could wear it with if you want, if you if it was your style. I mean, I oh know, yeah, with dungarees. Or it's something, definitely it? next to skin. I'm having a real issue today. It's definitely next to skin. I don't think you wear dangly earrings, but the earrings <laughs> were a perfect match. They are. So um, they're from Wolf and Loom. They were my right. myloma, my earrings to go with the myloma. Oh yeah, orange. Yeah. Right. So we. Yeah. So that's um all of us. Yeah. So they're the FOs and what, what we're wearing. wearing, and that will all be in the description block. Blocks. Box. Oh. I also have finished my Lysiantha socks, which were the ones that I had done this twisted rib detail on. And Lysianthus is a colourway by Bird Street Yarn. Beautiful. And there are two. And they are on our, oh, on our lovely blockers from Unwrapped. Unwrapped Yarn. So, yeah, not much to say about them. Just my standard sock, except they've got... Um, little rib. Yeah, and it's really... it's a way. It definitely is a way of making your socks addicted to knit. So how many rows did you do in between? So eight rows of stocking stitch and two rows of twisted rib. And I do 60 rows for my legs normally, but I didn't think, I didn't want the twisted, right above, just above the heel flap, so that's 58 rows. And then when I come, when I've picked up my stitches of my heel and I'm onto the foot again, I did the twisted rib. But you can, you don't, you can count, you know, you obviously don't need markers to count mm. your, Count your rows, and then it worked out for me that there was a. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> there was a twisted bit just before the toe. So. Perfect. Yeah. I think something. I'll whisper something to you then. Afterwards. Okay. So, um, F have you got any more FOs? No. I th I was hoping I'd have another. FO, I know I've got I a very close FO. Shall I shoot? being an effort because mm. it is it's like I've got a cast off basically so I even made an effort to get this done as well this week um so I've got my labels for that so living in a are we going to tell them what the husband said about the names oh yeah we can have you on living oh, in a just show you how they don't understand botanical yarn ball <laughs> top bag yes. it matches. so I this is my design for my loma um, awareness month this year and it's going to be called the simply beautiful cowl because that's what the socks we've had e morning beautiful evening beautiful everyone everyone's beautiful, beautiful. now we've got simply beautiful although it probably possibly isn't the simplest pattern it's nice though but it's a nice textured stitch and we think it's unisex very unisex yeah. and that's kind of why we haven't done it as long as well and also this way so I've done it in drops soft tweed, um, and the cream is called marzipan, and the orange is called carrot cake. And what did they say about it? So we were having a conversation. <laughs> we, Rachel arrived, and I was like, "Do you need me to steam your Simon?" And she was like, "I've got to sew the ends in." And then I haven't brought the needle to cast off my cowl. Yeah. Like, have you got? Fine, a five millimeter needle. Yeah. And then she was saying the car the yarn's called carrot cake, and then and, and my husband was like, "What are all these names?" No, have you named it? Have you named it carrot cake? Why have you named it carrot cake? Why is that si what? Where's Simon come from? And we were just like, well, all the shawls are named after family members, and they were like, well, there isn't a Chris or a Mark. <laughs> and it's possibly like, it's going to be a Chris soon. The yarn company. Named the, the yarn. yarn, so carrot cake, <laughs> carrot cake and marzipan. marzipan. Which is quite nice together. together yeah. yeah. Although you wouldn't put marzipan no. in carrot cake, but it is nice So together. I have that much left to bind off. Um, and really there should be one more row of ribbing, but I think I'm a bit looser by the time I got to the end. So 
it's about the same length and I'm actually in the pattern I'm going to write it for this number both ends you definitely will have mm. enough and it's DK so I'm just doing it on four millimeter needles and it's this four row pattern and you get you kind of get like a e, like a little yeah um, and it is going to be a fairly close sitting count. Yeah, so I'm going to you wet can, block it. You can add, you can add because it's four stitch repeat. Yeah. So you could easily add stitches or yeah. take stitches away if you wanted to make it for a child. Yeah. Um, so it's got like a so wrap, um, wrap stitch. So if anybody would like to test knit it, let me know in the comments below or better than, more than, better than that, email me on at twinsetandpearl at gmail.com. Um, I only need a couple of testers and just mainly to see about yarn mm -hmm. usage because the socks are going to be tested and that's the same pattern. So it's not yeah. quite so. Anyway, so I'll be casting that off later and giving it a wet block. Mm -hmm. But yes, yeah, so that's the Simply Beautiful Cowl, which is part of the almost FO segment. <laughs> <laughs> so how many whips have you got? One, two, three, two, four. We've got six. Well, this is an almost. This is this was almost an fo. Not okay. it's a bit more than a. You wanted it's it. It's a bit be, more to do than you wanted it to be so, an fo. Definitely. Yeah, I was going to take my summer Cecil on holiday to knit, and then when I finished this, I was like. I'm not going to start anything new, new, a new sweater or anything. I'm going to knit on that summer Cecil and I'm going to get it done. And I will have it done before I go on holiday. So I've put a marker in where I was. You go on Tuesday. Did you hold it? There. And I was there. What's that marker for? That's the se section. Oh, okay. okay. I leave the section markers in and then oh, I right, can, okay. when I can go back, I can just quickly see how much more I've got to do. Oh, right, okay. So, it looks really murky in this light. Um, it's very subtle. <laughs> it is. The pink is the most subtle, isn't it? Mm. Against the beige. Um, but I was there where that bit of Battenberg, the Battenberg stitch marker is. I've got loads of ends to sew in and I've knit that much. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that's what I'm noticing, it doesn't hold its shape as nicely, does it, this yarn? It's like, like right there, no, you may, you, I don't know, it looked a bit baggy, like as though there was a baggy section. It's definitely, it's definitely um, denser with the Like when you've got yarn three, with it, and yeah. it's nicer with the yarn with it. Yeah. The lace with it. But we'll see when it's blocked. Yeah. Um, they, they make, it's Isaiah Yarns. And they make the yarns, don't they, to be like hells mm. with other ones. So in yeah. combination, a lot of their their designs, yeah. their designs are with different mm. things held together. But you've done loads. Yeah. So there's just the tip. And it's quick, it's, it's quick, 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 once you get on those decreases. Yeah. So I'm loving it. Do you want to show your, can you show your colours? I've got three colours of alpaca one. Do they have a different pink? They have more of a corally pink. Yeah. I don't think they do a brighter no. pink. A dark and pink, probably. It's with held with this on beam linen. Beam linen. Um, cotton and linen mix. And did, was, was there a lighter shade of that? You could, you could have had. I don't know. No, because linen, remember. you can. It can add colour, can't it? Yeah. Like the, I can't remember what other colours they had. No. It was last summer we bought it. It was it whenever, yeah, when it, it wasn't when I had the socks, was it? I can't remember. I can't remember. I think that was last summer, actually, the socks came out. Um, yeah, so those are the three, those are the three contrasts and the main colour. And as I think I said in the last podcast, I probably would have picked a different yarn for the main colour, but we, it is what it is. No, I like it. And I think as you... When it's I'm finished. interested to see what it blocks, mm. how it blocks. 
And, and then, also when you wear it, yeah. it's a totally different thing, isn't it? Mm. So, yeah. So, but there's but been some lovely sassels lately. It's ever so weird working off your own pattern. You did it wrong, didn't you? I did. <laughs> huh? Well, I did notice that the original sassel is not what's in the pattern, but I think that was more to do with um, how I, I kind of fudged. Right. Yeah. As you because were going, I was. Ah, uh, you ran out of yarn. Like running out of yarn and stuff. But I um, you just fold the mammoth. <laughs> yeah. He's very. He's a very large. We need to work out where where to start for the Cecil cowl so that I can yeah because I'm knitting my yarn I've got my yarn ready and it's right. winding actually I have to bring it some yeah but let me get on I'll do my Morris and my Ruth first mm. and then yeah um, so um, yeah there've been lots of lovely Cecils lately um, as you fancy knitting one I'd go and have a look at the projects. And just see whether you, you know, there's neons, there's muted, mm. there's blues, there's... Have you got more? I've got two sure. more. This is up my two works. Oh, right. So do something other than more. Oh, do that later. And then we'll do all that. You do, oh, all, let your, me do, do all your I'll socks. I'll just show you the Sensi Beautiful socks. Because I've restarted, I talked about, I bought some different yarn. Um... And I've restarted them, but I haven't got too far. But I'll just show you. So my yarns are... Um, oh, the Heritage Casket Sock. Casket Heritage Sock in cinnamon and limestone. And I... It's been dated ever, Marzi Pan, isn't it? Or yeah. um, Clotted Cream or something. Yeah. <laughs> they may not have. I just picked the ones that were similar to... Mm. So I've now restarted and I've got a shorter cuff than I had on the other one. Um, and my normal length cuff and that I've done on a 2.5 millimeter needle then I switched to a 2.75 for the main sock because um, the other problem with the other version was that I'd gone down a needle size because the yarn is thinner and then realized that I wasn't going to get it over my heel so and this is so much nicer as well this doing it as the four row repeat and we were chatting about it last night, weren't we? And we think I'm going to do a stripy foot rather than doing the pattern on the foot. So the pattern will be on the cuff, on the cuff, on the leg. Um, so the heel flap, and then afterwards there'll be two by two stripes of the colours because this makes it quite bulky mm. for getting in your shoe. Plus, these are four row repeats, but two of them are slip stitch rows, so. On, a, on the foot, you have to do the underneath stocking stitch to get your yarn back round to do. And different gauges. So it'll be, yeah, be four rows to two rows, really. Or three um, rows. So you'd have to be. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. The yarn for the cowl, is it 50 gram balls? Yes. So if you bought two 50 grams of each one, you could do a striped section and then fold it. You could if you wanted to to make them the same. I have I have got one of the other reasons that I stopped where I stopped. This is a very really stupid reason. Jo was at my house last weekend and she helped me tidy up my downstairs stash. And we didn't look out the two ball the other two balls of drops of tweed. Mm. And I do not have the ability Get under the to table. get under the table my hips are so bad at the moment and oh, it's just so we all we we were probably, we were going to do it short we've always talked about doing the shorter cowl mm. and i think it's going to work fine and it's also good that it's two balls because then it's 250 grams it's like real stash yeah. buster so we well, we'll have buster, maybe we'll have another version from stash. maybe we'll have another version after the because you could join, you could knit it, you could have fingering held double. Yeah. And I've also got two skeins of um, hand-dyed DK, like double, um, like, mm -hmm. so 100 gram skeins. So you could do the other one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this, <laughs> so this is the same as the cowl. And... Um, That's pretty. Yeah, so I'm hoping this week 
I'll get the patterns written and I've got people, I've got my, I've got three people offering to knit the sock, mm -hmm. so we'll be, that's good. Yeah. And that's in a little bag I've got from Loxeter. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. Shall I do another sock? And then we can do all your socks and then we'll do your bonnet. Okay. So, um, when I finished the the Yantha socks, I cast on some self-striping that I've had in my stash for a while. Um, the Dragon Hill Studio, it's called Winter Warmer. And it's on their Brecon sock, which is a yak base, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I finished one sock and it's got this um, matching, your toes, yeah. matching um, mini that I bought to go with. It doesn't come with it. I bought them. So I finished one. Should I put it on the block? No. It's easy just to show it. Um, which is really cute, I think. Yeah. So I did the long cuff because I did the three colours. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. And then I did, I made the oh, heel. I like the thinner, like the grey stripe. Yeah, it's thinner, thinner than the. And then I made the heel um, come in between mm. the kind of rust colour and the pink so that the. Balanced. Yeah. yeah. No, I love it. And then the toe is stripy as well. And then I immediately cast on the second one. Oh, the yarn's beautiful. And yeah, I'd like a sweater. <laughs> and it's doing the same. So. Cool. I yeah. think they could be a present <laughs> because they match. So they need they need they need approval. They, they need approval standards. Yes. So they are living in a little acquisition that I got myself. And this is a little bag from Toast. If you're in the UK, if you may have heard of Toast. Joe buys quite a lot of clothes from Toast. Quite an expensive shop. Um, but very I only cute. buy them in the sale, mind. Very cute little, <laughs> and it, I love it. It's like Shashiko mm. embroidery, but these are remnants. So they make so they've had they've had clothes in this mm. pan and all sorts of other things. I like the tag. And it's um little. yeah, a little tag on the end. And it's there's three different fabrics that you can buy. Yeah, and it came really quickly. And, and of course it fits a pair of socks and it is Rachel approved. Mm -hmm. So one more pair of socks to show. Um so I've been seeing a lot of Bridgerton trailers because it's coming next month. Finally! And finally, Bridgerton season three. So I did cast on a different, I started off obviously doing, I was going to do vanilla and I thought, oh, I'll just put a little pattern down the front because, you know, once you come off the villain and train, mm -hmm. you... Uh, you could it, have done a whistle down variant. Yeah, but it didn't. It didn't show up what well, the pattern I was trying to do, so I decided to cast on a whistle down sock. And I only actually have one the original pair because I knitted them again for John and Claire in one of their colorways, old number seven. And so they have the sample, so I only have my original, the OG whistle down. That Catio yarn, wasn't mm. it? Beautiful. So this is uh, Mal no, Malastra Uruguay. Allegra and it's gorgeous, it's so soft and it's 75.25 but it's in the colourway No Book. Mm, no, no Book. No Book. No Book. No book. I don't know if I can see that. I have the glasses okay. on so I can't see if it's focused or not. Yeah, so obviously when you block it, it the lace will. These do need to be blocked. The lace will. So this is one of my original pattern. I mean, I think I'd only had two sock patterns before this, two oh, or three yeah. before this. The, these came out, and this is our best-selling sock pattern. Um, I think we've nearly sold five hundred. And um, yeah, so if you fancy knitting a pair of Bridgerton <laughs> socks, almost vanilla for a very. Um, yeah, so once you've done this bit, yeah, it's like a 
That's quite nice. People like that actually about it. Mm. And uh, the thing is, I think people like a plain vanilla sock on the foot. They like the foot yeah. to be plain in their shoe because um, cables and stuff. Yeah, can, they. Yeah, I mean, they, obviously to design... make it thicker, and then also if you have lace, it can be colder, yeah. can't it? So you like. And I haven't put one on yet, have I? Oh, I have. I've got my rabbit on there. <laughs> my unwrapped yarn rabbit. But I was using the ones that you bought me from Lily Pet White. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. And then the rabbit hopped on. I don't know what happened to my rabbit. So, oh, yeah. And they are living in a little pouch from the oh, Somewhere yes. Co. Which we talked about perfect. last time. Yeah, and they're they? perfect for socks. That's lovely. So... So those are my sock whips. Cool. Three. Three sock whips. What else have you got to talk about? So I've got Morris and then crochet. Okay, let's do Morris then and then we can do crochet. So I have made two. I've made a little bit of progress since. I have two Morrises because I started this one which I showed everybody last. Oh, got some pictures. I showed everybody last time. Yeah. In Bird and Street, isn't in it? In Bird Street. And then I bought some yarn last weekend at the Sodbury Yarn Over and I started the new one. I'm, I am going to do this one, but I just um, want, I want the other one more. Right. So, uh, so yeah, so this is Morris. And it's very, the very start of Morris. So is that the cash, alpaca cashmere? Yeah, alpaca cashmere silk. Oh, it's been in the gorgeous. colourway sea glass. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's. I might have to get them to dye a bit of a North Sea <laughs> colourway. So that's. Um, oh, stop the empty needles from clapping. Um, that was the one that I cast on at the start of the thing. Yeah. And then I bought this yarn. Are they both living in the same. No, no, no. that one's there. So I bought this yarn um, from this lady, Nam Nam Olio, and it's made out of nettles. Does she plant dye? I don't know. If she dyes it. I think it's, oh, right, this is this is made in Italy because she had. By... We bought some lavender bags from her, didn't we? Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Look at the date on that. At, was that at? That was at Waltham Abbey. Yeah. Um, so I bought four 50 gram balls. Um, I Is love it this. full climb? Yeah, oh. it's 225 metres in 50 yeah. grams. Um, beautiful drape. Um, and I'm just living in this little bag um, because it matches. Cast. Well, it kind of so do things move around. Yeah, that's what I took to work in. Yeah, this um, is one of those origami bags. Mm. Where was that from? Um, oh, I can't remember. I've had it ages. It was from it was off Etsy. It's beautiful linen, um, and it's got no label on it. Yeah. So, um, but I I'll I'll look it up and. Um, put it in the show put notes. It in the show notes. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and it's got these cornflower blue flowers on. So um, so that was living in there, but that was too big to put, fit in my bag for yeah. work. So I... What section are you on? I'm on section one. Okay. Um, because when I've been working at home, I've been doing the Cecil. Mm -hmm. Did you make that progress group to go with it? Yes. <laughs> See what I've got to contend with, people. <laughs> That's beautiful. I want one. It's going to be very, very. Can I have it when you finish? Fine. No, you can't. Have... Oh, the progress key. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the. No. Sure. Yes, you can have it. Thank you. Um, no, I would never take your. I can't believe you're knitting a blue one. So I'd. I just love this colour blue. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Um. I nearly bought a vest top in this colour blue from Marks and Spencer's yesterday and I see your um frame colour colour mm. moment. Um 
yeah, so I've done a little bit more of that one, actually. But um, this is the one that I'm going to take him on holiday. Yeah. Um, you have to have a member of the family on holiday with you. <laughs> yeah. And look. <gasps> Bloody hell, people. Things down. Excuse my language. I was watching a podcast the other day called Those Twins That Knit. Yeah. Um, Rachel and Jessica, they live in... I want to say Nevada or Texas. Anyway, somewhere in America. Um, and one of them is a te an art teacher and the other one is an analyst. And the art teacher doesn't write anything down. She just counts the rows. Right. And the analyst has a book like you do, just with loads of numbers crossed off. Yeah. Just, like, it doesn't make any sense to anybody. The only bit that makes sense no. is the project you're on at the, at the time. So I've been recently finished well thinking about old whips and stuff and i have a really old whip from like maybe 2018 and i've got a book with exactly what row i'm on yeah i, can find. I, I would have to so i've got i've got i've got another whip i um i will talk about that in a minute so i would um, you know exactly I, where Yeah, and are. I'm thinking about finding it and, and I literally finishing off, didn't actually. know where I was. So I'm going to put this back in here and that one back in, and that one back in there. So I can talk about mine. Yeah. So I am on, se on to section two. And mine, so it's growing. This needle isn't the best for shoving it off because it's a bit bendy. Bendy, I'm going to hold the bottom bit in. So this is, it's like a, you can't really see the green. It is, it's lovely. Mm. It's like slightly yellower green than that's showing up. And this is Brando by Bird Street Yarn. And it is the Yak base, the Yak 70. So 70 it's like Marino. a cross between a pine green and, and a, a Kelly, and a, Kelly green. and an olive. Oh yeah, an say. olive, yeah. Yeah, olive. Mm. So it is lovely. And then you can see the rib close up. Yeah. So this is, um, yeah, 70 superwash merino, 20%, 10% yak and 20% nylon. Mm. And it's lovely. Have you, have, have you knit any socks? In this no, space? no, I haven't. I'll have to get some. I was, when I, I when I bought it, they ha was at the, the trunk show at the Oxford Yarn mm. store and I bought it to knit a shawl. A fizzy pop, actually. Yeah. And then change my mind, and I'm really happy with it. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's going to look lovely with my navy blue winter coat. Mm. Yes. So. Glorious. Yeah. So I just keep doing a few, because we've got a long time on the cow. Yeah. Do a few, try and do two repeats a day. And there's some new. And that's living in a. Yeah. botanical yarn I showed it last week and I've bank. got a couple of ideas for new shawls who will be family members so, so you're going to watch your other whip this is what I'm taking on holiday oh, right, okay so you talk about that and then I'll talk about my okay conscience. so the other day I was downstairs and the only thing that I had to knit on was this and I um Found it oh, out. is this your coat? No, that's the cone I wound off so I can take but it on But it's the day. merino cotton. No, this is linen cotton. Oh, right. Lace weight. Wow. Um, and this is the Adventia from Liner from magazine. Liner magazine. Um, and I had to count the stitches to work out what size. Oh my I'm God, there's so doing. many stitches. <laughs> well, I needed half because there's a marker. Yeah, I'll sort A I'll halfway sort of marker. But it's the same... It's a very similar pattern to Morris. Um, so you you do a the lace is on every row, and then it's got instead of the the little it's it's mm. a cable section up the side. Yeah. Just middle. Oh, it's lovely. Um, and it's um, so I said to Joe that she should only take this on holiday, and then she'll be forced to knit yeah, it. Yeah, nearly four hundred stitches. So it takes you about half an hour to do a row. Yeah, um, but once you get into it, do you want to keep my stitch stoppers? 
Um, no, I bought some room stitch stuff. Oh, I've got it. Um, mm. So yeah, so that's going to be coming on holiday with me. And I've wound off the cone. I only take one. I actually only need one. Right. To finish. Yeah. So I'm going to take... That'll make it less. Yeah. Well, that's your eyes alive. Yeah. I'm going to take just one of those. Mm. Uh, and then I think if I take that one, that should be enough. And then that's enough to make it a shawl. Yeah. Maybe we... That, that's the one that's attached. No, Neither of them are attached. Oh, right. I was trying to do it, wind it off the cone with it attached and get a centre pull ball, but it kept getting more tangled around uh, itself, so I had to break it. But it's fine. Yeah. It's on the side. It's a lovely um, colour. Yeah, it's like just a natural linen. It's from Woolly Knit. Um, I think they've got some new colours, actually, in the linen. Um, but yeah. It's... Um, I don't have a picture because I had I took pictures on my phone of the magazine yeah. <laughs> and then printed it off. Um, but I haven't got a picture mm. of the actual thing. But it's like a it's similar construction to this. Yeah. Apart from it's got a V neck and it's got a lace mm. pattern on it. So um, yes, that's what's coming on holiday. So that gonna... and the blue Morris. Okay, we've got twenty minutes. Okay, let's speed through. So. I've made quite a lot of progress on my corner to corner. Oh, we're going moving into crochet corner, are we now? Yes. So I'll take Simon off and show you my. This is a shrug. I don't know if I've worn it on the podcast before, but I crocheted a long. I crocheted it when Mark and I were in Seattle, and it's Isaiah Alpaca Two. You won't be able to see. And it's got. Oh my time! Before I can turn it down. On the back, there's a square that you start with, and then you do this pattern around. All right, so the square is about that. Big. Yeah, and then you do four sides as a square so many times in this pattern, and then you do three sides as a square, so it hangs lower down, mm -hmm. and then you fold it. I can put the carpet. Right. You fold it and stitch down there, and then you pick up. You not pick up, you do single linen stitch. I've extended the cuff, but you do linen stitch all the way around the outside mm -hmm. as well. And it's really nice just to have on, like it keeps you warm, mm -hmm. it's amazing how warm it keeps you. But I, I, I've knitted, I've cr knitted, I've crocheted four or five. So my first one, it says Shepier's pattern. Lovely. Called the, I think it's called the Indigo Shrug, and it's like a pound, from, it used to be, mm -hmm. from Shepiers. And it's um, designed to knit with one of their whorls. Oh, right, so you get the, mul the yeah, multi-coloured. Color. So the first one I did was, for me, was a co it's cotton um, wool, I think, no, not wool. Poly cotton mm -hmm. acrylic. So it's nice for the summer, and I, on that one I only did what they told you to do, and then you buy like a whirlet that oh, matches right, do for doing the edge. Doing the edge. So you have enough oh, left like over that. to a whirlet, a whirl, a whirlet, <laughs> and then I did one in scraps in like a narrow ball, all like purples and blues. Mm. And somebody in my crochet, I used to go to crochet every week there. Somebody in my crochet group said, "How much do you want for it?" I said seventy pounds to give. There's no way they're going to pay seventy oh, pounds. Squeaky chair. Sorry. Please. There's no way they're going to pay seventy pounds for this, and they did. They did. <laughs> so I sold it to her for thirty for seventy pounds, and then I made this one in Seattle, and then I crocheted one for my friend Alex, who is a crochet but has no time. Plus, her hands are quite like um, slow. Yeah. Anyway. Made one for her, and it was from a whirlet, from a whirl, and we started cream in the middle to go out to dark. And I was, I was, it was under the table in a bag, on, um, in like open, but in, and I spilled my coffee in the coffee shop, and it had a whole like Aww. slats of it, went through, and the only bit that got was um, the cream, was the cream bit. So I had to wash it, oh. and then finish it off you know I finished it off and then I washed it and it did come out 
but um, I think Alex was allergic to the stuff right. that I washed it in. So anyway, that's a. But I, I want to knit. I want to crochet another one, and I have a cone. I've got three co cones of cotton from Woolly Knit, mm. and I think I was thinking about doing it in black, but I think it might be challenging. So I'm going to do the grey mm. cone, oh, and then it will go with blue. Lot, then then it will go with blue and yeah. black. I think you wear that a lot. Yeah, all the cream for summer, but mm. we'll see. Because I want to, I want to knit another Yume summer top from mm. Isabel Kramer in the in the black. Yeah, oh, we'll that's easy too. Anyway, so this is the crochet that I've been doing up and you know, but I've been getting a bit more addicted to it. And I messaged a friend of mine who I haven't seen for ages, um, who is a crochet, not a knitter. Or well, she doesn't knit, but hardly ever. And I said to her, sitting crocheting and thought of you. And she was like, wow, cro crocheting, not knitting. So yeah. <laughs> so this yarn has just turned out to be beautiful. It's, it's quite thick. Cat it? Yeah, I did it on a three mil hook. So it possibly shouldn't have been. But I think, um, so I've got this oh, much I'd left. I'd make it into a cushion. I'd have it as a cushion rather than a shawl. Really? Yeah. So do you think when I get when you get to the, When you finish that, do the other half. And then fold it in half and make it into a cushion. I love it. Okay. No, you do what you want to do. I think wrapped around your neck, because mm. it's silk and wool, um, it's lovely yarn. And I have bought, part of one of my acquisitions is another, another ball of it, and it's the same dye lot. Oh, amazing. So yeah, isn't it? I just love the pop of baby pink and... Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I would do? What? I'd add a... Yeah. Scallop to the yeah because it's it's bigger. I mean it's bigger. It's bigger than I thought I was going to get. Yeah. One skein. Um, so obviously the next one will be. Yeah. You might be able to add. Yeah, because it's that much longer. maybe. Yeah. But you could go round it. Yeah. Do an edge to give a bit of an edge. I think it would look nice with an edge. Yeah. And then just wrapped like you'd fold a bit, fold that bit over and wrap it round your neck. Yeah. For your, in your coat. Yeah. Or at home, have it the other way. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it is quite expensive. It's £24 a ball. Because um, I was thinking of just, like, making it into a ba into a lap blanket. Mm. <laughs> but you'd need a lot. A lot. Probably four balls. Mm. Four balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, or if not more. But oh, then it's nice. made me want to finish that other, that hexy blanket. Mm. Oh, you definitely need to do that. Huh? Yeah, that's got about... 13 hexagons to do and it's done. Yeah. So it's a bit ridiculous. Oh, do that before you start that. Yeah. I will. So yeah, so that's, I'm using my Lilliput white polar feeder and I, my, I'm doing it on a three millimetre hook, which I probably should have. I'm not looking at anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are my favourites. Clover. Cool. And then the other thing, and that's what I showed last week, it's all in the Belita bag. We love Belita yarns. I think, is she going to think? She, did I see? No, oh, I don't know. I saw her last weekend at the Sodbury Yarn. Yeah, and then just, I sent Jo some pictures. So I've been looking eight for ages for a scrap. Which one do you want me to show first? Um, This one, maybe show, because it's got my, this is how I made, I thought I was hoping. Is this a paid for pattern? No, it's a free download. And I've, Started following her on Instagram. It's called the Crochet Log Cabin Square by Little Woolly Makes. Yeah, so, so, not really so on writing. Instagram she's Little Woolies. And she's doing uh and this is the you sew them together. And I that's the one her version is DK, but I want to use four ply scraps and I don't want to hold them double. No, and I don't want her squares are apparently 50, 14 by 14, and I don't want them that big. I want smaller squares. So I don't know if you've got a tape measure handy. Let me just do um, three, three and a half inches, I think. That's, that's a finished edge. And four inches. So 10 centimetres. Oh, that's quite amazing. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I pick, I just, to try it out, I've picked these three. Bird Street yarns. So Lily the Amethyst, um, Son of a Nutcracker, it's got sparkle in it, and Glass House. 
Oh no, I don't sleep. Grateful. And I could use like this mm. So I in the car on the way here, I managed to do that much. <laughs> You've done all of that in the car? Yeah. So it's quite quick. I yeah. was thinking, is that going to take longer than... No, so I reckon it'd take two, maybe two hours, unless my first one. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so you do the centre and then you work around each side mm -hmm. in the next colour. So would you do a load of centres? You could do. And then a load of... Depending on what you... So what I really would like to know, so I should have weighed... I'm going to weigh the whole square and just see yeah. roughly... What I really want to do is use my Bird Street Yarn Advent from, not last year, but the year yeah. before. And it's got 16 minis. And Claire very kindly gave me a hundred a mega, a big boy skein of Easy Knits in grey. So I was thinking there's like, there's four of each. There's yellow, pink, blue and tealy colour, I think, or green. And... To do two together and switch the centre ones and mm. do the outside in grey, but then there'd be a lot of grey sewn together. You could do the middle one in grey and then the two, yeah. And that would actually make my grey last a lot longer. Mm. But I don't know how much it doesn't. I don't think it takes very much to make a square. No. So obviously, so I finish that side and do that side, and then it's not brilliant. It's got a little bit of a. But you know, I'll get better. <laughs> And yeah, so that's um, I'm doing that with a 3.5 mil hook. Mm. And it's that linen stitch. That's linen stitch, which is like yeah, linen stitch in knitting where you slip one. And um, but in knitting you go up a you usually go up mm. a needle size because but I don't think I think that's fine. Yeah. That was gonna be lovely. So that would just be um and going, you, can you and then you make them and just and then crochet them all together? Yeah, right? yeah so just, you could have it as a portable project. Yeah, you just make them all and then you can pat patchwork them right. when you've because I've got a lot of a lot of scrap. I mean, I could make God knows how many out of it just this. Yeah, and then we'd move them around. Oh, I definitely do a few of the same. Yeah, Maybe and then, a different order. Yeah, and then um, the then there's a pico edge mm. all the way around. So yeah, oh. so that's um let us know what you think of crochet really corner. My little grey girl we haven't mentioned her for a while. <laughs> yeah. In this um which always makes me think of scamp and dude actually. Mm. But this little this um yeah, so that was very quick rush to all, croquet is crochet corner. That's that all, all your whips. That's all my whips and all my crochet. Right. This. So I've got a couple of acquisitions, that's it. I've got a few more because Well I'm, you talk about chipping soddery. Yeah, and then um, so I went on Sunday last week. I went to the Chipping Sodbury yarn o yarn over, and it was lovely. Yeah, it was in held in two different buildings. Um, the weather was miserable, um, but it was it was lovely. There were lots of vendors vendors I'd never seen before, which was really nice, um, and some vendors that I obviously had seen before. So it was nice to see. Um, some familiar faces and have a chat with some friends. Um, I bumped into Jane from who I'd met at Flock, who was wearing her Simon, and then orange, orange and orange and cream. It's lovely. And then I'd also met another lady who was wearing a fizzy pop, and I was wearing Cecil, the OG Cecil. Um, and I was having a chat with Valika Yarns about my latest design idea. idea. Um, Rachel has very kindly, so this is kind of an acquisition. Rachel's kind of given me, kindly given me these minis, mohair minis. Um, and so the design is going to be... So you were originally going to use them as a fade, weren't you? Yeah. But we've changed our mind. So the design is... That's um, the royal we. <laughs> the design is going to have mohair held double with the fingering weight in the same way that we do with Cecil, but a completely different design. So those five are going to be, and I need to pick the base colour yeah. um, that, will that will show them up. So I've got sort of several different um, mi base mixes that I um, I was thinking of using the Raw, Raw Company, mm -hmm. but I think it's a bit too rustic. So I'm I've got quite a few. Um, Two skeins, mm -hmm. so I'm going to have a have a go and have a look at those. Do some swatches. Yes, that's the um, 
the beautiful. Where were these from? The sound of Vidal. They were in the odds and sods. Yeah. And I made... So I was chatting Oh, to... I think it was actually the time I went up and I actually worked. Ah, right. Oh, and I did the adverts and stuff. And I was just basically rooting around the whole studio <laughs> and found myself a fade. So I was chatting to Belika and she was looking on the supplier's website mm -hmm. to see if you can, if they sold 20 gram min, mohair minis and we couldn't find them. And then they were posted this week and she messaged me and she said, <laughs> they're doing them, they're doing them. So um, we're gonna, she's gonna do an actual fade right, for it. Um, anyway, so I didn't buy any yarn from Belika's stand. I bought some point protectors in a little tin. Um, you get that many? Four, four sets. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go on their website and get some. And they were, that was five pounds for four Where sets. Where are the ones of mine that you borrowed? Uh, in a bag, I'm going to find them. And then I also got these snag free stitch markers. Cool. They're cool to me. They're good for socks, don't they? Yeah. And next to next to Belika was green and glass. Joe bought me a present from that. Yeah. So these are the ones. This is these are the stitch markers that I got. Very sophisticated. And then <laughs> I, these are the ones that she bought for me. I couldn't resist. It's a bunny wabbit. They're, these are gorgeous. I love. Them. And they're progress. Yours are progress. Yeah. Because I wanted. Want, I usually don't want progress yeah. because, but I'm be fine with that. Yeah. So That's cute. like cool for a jumper, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, those are so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Um, and then I got that blue nettle yarn. Yep. And this nettle yarn. Which I think were. Which is kind of the colour of the. It's like peach, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, the Pantone colour yeah. of the yarn. Yeah. I've seen loads of this colour. It was loads, loads in John Lewis yesterday when I went shopping. Got four of those. They were five pound fifty each. Yeah. So that's a shawl for twenty two pounds. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. And then I, the last thing I got was from Ginger Pink. So I um, missed Ginger Pink at Unravel. Mm -hmm. um, They're beautiful. And I, so I got these minis. What's the back base? It is Exmoor sock. Superwash, oh, yeah, Superwash, Exmoor, Blueface, Corriedale, Zorbles, and oh, so Nylon. Zorbles is all dark, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. So I think they're going to be um, socks. Right. Isn't it one of my fade patterns? I don't know. But I'm going to... The Oxford Blue socks. Hmm. Maybe. Or just stripes. I haven't decided. Um, so that was all the acquisition of the yarn over. Now my um, impressions of it was, it's obviously the first one. There wasn't very many places to sit and knit and knit or, or just, just sit. Yeah. Um, there were there was no catering. Well, there was a little tiny place that had some cake, but there wasn't anywhere to sit and eat it. Right. So I. If it I gets bigger. Yeah, and it had been, apparently on the Saturday, it was really busy. They'd had a one in, they'd got to the point where they had to do one in, one out. One out, one in. Yeah. Um, and they hadn't cleared the queue until one o'clock in the afternoon. Right, so you could have stood up for a long time. Yeah, and I think that that would be my only um yeah. That would impression. have been, that would have been, I'd have just had to go home. Yeah, so they... um and then there was another room over. There was anywhere to sit over the road? I don't think there was. Maybe upstairs there were a few more seats. But um, you were you would have had to get upstairs. I don't know if there's yeah. a lift. There probably was a lift. It said town hall, so there's probably a lift. But um, yeah, very nice mix of. Um, there was fiber. There was spinning. There was um, guilds, crochet guilds, yeah. knitting guilds, lots and lots of interesting stuff. Um, big range of people there. Um, who was organising it? I I get the feeling it was the lady who's got the yarn shop in Chicken Sock. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But it was cool. lovely and I would definitely go again and it's half an hour from where I live. So nice. Yeah. I know I popped in for, it opened at 10, I'd left by 12. 
Yeah. Quick whiz round. I did two. I looked round, went to the place over the road, saw Ginger Pink, came back, did another yeah. turn round, and um, the other home. The also bus. free parking. And the so other truck. The no other, parking ticket at this. Uh, the other problem was that you weren't show. really buying the arm, were you? No, no. But you did. I did. I bought a look of it. Right. So now, what do you want to talk about? Uh, that, I think, next. And then. Yeah. So, I also then bought some more sock yarn. You saw. I wore. I saw. So, uh, uh, coming stories together. Do, stories, do, stories do work. Yeah. People. <laughs> coming together in. Uh, of two instances. Right. I was wearing the socks that I knit in this yarn right. and I love them. And then I saw Lizzie from Oxford Yarn Store knitting with this yarn. And I was like, I need that yarn. I want I need me some it of that. Now. I need it now. I need it now. So I went on and bought it. And then, of course, you had to buy another ball to make it worth shipping. sending. I mean, I don't think I got free shipping. All right. But, you know. And that's kind of spring, and that's kind of autumn, mm -hmm. and then the other ones are kind of summer. Yeah. So um, do some winter ones. Do some then. winter ones, but um, yeah. So I'm definitely nice. going to be casting on some more socks. Maybe if you love it so much, I'll give you some my my solid colours I've got. I was thinking that I I want that colour, that grey beige as a mm. solid to do with heels. Although the heels yeah. work quite well in yeah. the other one. I don't know if this is the same kind of stripe, though. Yeah, I don't think it will be, but it's probably stripey. Yeah. Rather than... I'm sure it's fine just to do the heels in. Yeah. Mine, I've got a pale pink, rosy pink, and a, not like a, like that. Oh, right. Grazy pink and mm. a navy blue. Maybe the navy blue. Yeah. I'll show you anyway. Maybe. Yeah, for your fan. You're not going to start the knitting them before I, you come to my house again. Um, have you, you, what have you got to share? I have got um, a couple of project bags and a and the yarn from Katia. Oh right. Do you want to do? Should we do Katia yarn and then do bags? Yeah. So I decided that I needed another skein of this Katia uh, Katia concept hero to go do go to do mine. Mm -hmm. So I bought. I was on the we were chatting weren't we? Yeah. And I, I was on the website. So I, I got put that in the basket and then Joe was like, oh, I want some co concept co cotton cashmere. Yeah. And you picked these two colours to knit your summer sign in. Yeah. So that's this lilac. So there's a, there was a mauve, which was pink to pinky. Out of stock, wasn't it? And that's, this is like light blue jeans or something it's called so it's like a pale blue i think it looks purple in certain yeah. lights and that's like a camel yeah and that's going to be my summer sign mm. then Ooh. so when i come back from holiday yeah and i've finished morris i will cast you're going to knit morris and adventure are you going to finish morris on your holiday um, I accept the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, when I come back from holiday and I finished Morris and I finished Adventius, yeah, I will be. I wouldn't say on... finish Adventius. I'll be casting after you finish Morris. You can cast that. One. Okay, fine. I don't think I think Adventius is going to be next summer. Do you think? It's such a it takes such a long time mm. to do. Anyway, I then added this to the oh, cart, the back. which is a far bigger ball than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> It's that blown kind of yarn mm. called Angelo. Mm. And it's, I'm just going to knit a, what do you call it? What's it called? The one? Piper? No. Page. Page. I'm going to knit the garter one skate. It's 450 metres. It might be Piper. I can't remember. So I'm going to knit the play, the garter one of the power of three and just do a bigger needle. Yeah. Do a four millimetre needle or something. I don't know. It's, I do a little so, swatch and see. Oh, yeah, four, three and a half to four and a half. Mm. So I could, yeah, do a bigger needle, but it would look 450 metres. But I'm waiting, mm. I'm checking, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, so though, that's my only yarn acquisitions since last time. And I, um, no, I've only got this bag. Yeah, go for it. So I put this in my bag basket a while ago, and I thought, you don't need a project bag. 
And then I was on Etsy buying some pens, which I also don't really need. <laughs> <laughs> and they were all in my bag and I thought, still there, nobody's bought it. <laughs> so it came to my house. <laughs> oh, and I love this fabric so much. So it's Harris Tweed. It's, it's a little bucket bag with this um, drawstring closure. So it doesn't, and a hundred percent. Things could still drop out, couldn't they? Yeah, you couldn't. I don't think it's more of a sitting at home bag. Mm. That's what how I'm going to use it. I'm just going to knit out of it. It's lovely. So I could hang that on my chair handle yeah. and knit my sock out of it. Um, but it, it came with a little friend. Because that so they are purchased separately. They are purchased separately, but um, I love it, and that's actually going to go in my handbag. I think. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, yeah. So it's Harris Tweed. Well, it's got your sock in it. It's got my sock in it. Um, Which she hasn't done any more. I haven't of. done any more. She hasn't even joined it. the cast on. No. Um, but yes. Yeah, so no, it's lovely wax cotton. No, it? just cotton. Like canvas cotton. <laughs> yeah. And um, I think it's gorge. I did go on and have a look, and then I reprimanded myself because <laughs> I knew that I had these coming, and they arrived just in time to show you on. So oh, I went to. Wish I'd known you were getting more of those. Well, these are from the Somewhere Company, <laughs> and they're the everyday pouch. And I love the perfect for sock knitting. But which one would you like? I'd like the berry. Oh, thanks, Bree. So, and I also bought you another little gift because I did a bit of shopping in Pixie. They had twenty percent off for the family. Like I something. I think that's all doing it. So there's a little oh. for your holiday. Oh, cheers! Has it got SPF in it? I don't think so. But it's a hydrating mm. balm. Oh, thanks. Perfect. That's peachy. Peachy. I know Joe likes peachy kind of... Peachy and berries. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Look inside. Ooh. Mine's lime green. Right, pink. Yay. Oh, thanks, hun. Right. And these are £10 each, by the way. Full price. <laughs> so, amazing. Right. And that's the other one they have in stock. Is that everything? Then? Yep, that's everything. Cool. So Joe's on holiday. Um, she went to we'll... South Africa, so she will be coming back. Well, a bit more <laughs> colour than I will have, even even more colour than when you compare us. So, and the next thing we're going to is next Wonderful. time we see each other is Wonderwall, Wales, and I have organised my transport slightly better this time. So I have. I'm coming first class in the train to Bristol. She's discovered that she can have a disabled, disabled person's rail card. So I say the third. And I'm not doing it that regularly. I thought I'm going to go first class. Mm. And then, no, because I'm, I'm bringing my walker. And I, A, can't get on the train on my own with it. And B, where do you put it? If the tra Like when I came back from your house last time, it was so busy. Mm. The train, you'd be, I either have to sit on it in the passageway or but you'd also be one worrying that somebody might walk off with your walker so and it doesn't that when i it has to go back after mm. well, you know, whatever i think about so um so i've organized there's an app for passenger assistance on network rail near our national rail so i've already got my mm. people organized to help me lift my luggage off the thing and Cool. My walker, so all organised. Mm. So all we need now is for them to go on strike or something <laughs> <laughs> and mess it all up. But no, so that's amazing. So if you're a person who doesn't travel because of those issues, and you probably know already, but it's there amazing. An There's an app, and you know you can save. And then food. you have a gorgeous twin who's coming to pick you up from the beach yeah. and drive. We're going to go have a lovely day, aren't we? We're going to go yeah. to Hay and Why to a new yarn shop. And hope to yes. find somewhere nice for lunch. Yes. And then all that go to Gloucester Services. For lunch. <laughs> I love Gloucester Services. And then um, they do some particularly nice coffee fudge. Okay, well we'll go there then. It might have to be purchased. And then we're, the, where we're staying with our friends from the Knitting Hotel, um, can't get in till six o'clock. So, and then Friday night, they're bringing food. 
and then Saturday and Sunday is Wonder Wool, and then Monday we leave and come back and it's all going to be mm. very chill. And yeah, so if you're going to Wonder Wool, well, yeah, look out for us. Look out for us. Or we'll let us know there. you're, you're going to yeah. be there. And I'm really sorry. I'm going to post, hopefully, actually, before we post, I, when I'm uploading this, I will go back and co and reply to some of the comments that we got in the last. I've been, I was, it's not only a week since we last podcast, mm. but I was looking at the comments thinking, oh, I'll get, I'll sit down and just reply to them all. And so I haven't, I'm afraid, but I will try. Mm. So apologies if you've. Okay, and we're waffling now and we yeah, need to go, go because it was ready. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much, everybody. You made this far. Yeah. yeah we always say that. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you um, in a couple of weeks. Yes, and hopefully we yeah, will. Until then, we will manage happy a, little, knitting. a little podcast. Right? Happy knitting. Yes. Happy knitting. Sorry, Fluff. Enjoy the new spring yeah. weather in the UK and take care. Bye. Bye.